everyone, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a very simple round brush design, floral design, on this clear glass bottle. I am going to be using four Imagic round brushes and I have links, affiliate links down below for you if you'd like to purchase any of these. I'm going to be using a 14, a 12, an 8, and a number 4. So it's pretty simple with that. All the paints I'm using, once again, are folk art paints, multi-surface and enamels. I'm using Thicket, Bumblebee, 14 karat gold, and I'm getting paint all over my fingers, Forest Moss, Titanium White, and tea berry. All right. Now I have cleaned off my bottle. Remove the obviously remove the stickers and stuff that are on it. I use different types of bottles. They're not just wine bottles. These are a variety of different um, liquor bottles. So I've cleaned it off, or you know, got the sticker off, washed it with soap and water, and went over it with rubbing alcohol. So it's ready to go. All right, so basically what I'm going to be doing here, and I'll try to get my palette in here. I just, I need to get a new camera, and I know I say this, but I haven't uh, purchased one yet. So anyways, what I'm going to do is stick my brush into the white, and then tip it into the tea berry. And just doing simple strokes. Okay, so I'm pushing down. Just pushing down and I'm pulling it and you can continue on without reloading because that will give you you know variation of the colors or you can reload often just up to you and I just try to go in different directions you know just to sh kind of show some movement you understand now if I'm doing this and I feel like the coverage isn't good enough because I want it to be opaque then I'll go back over it again you can also choose to hit it with a heat gun if you want just to give it some drying time and then go back over it again you know that again is up to you and I do apologize my furnace is getting ready to start so that's what you hear in the background but again I just keep dipping my brush back in as I want to add color and I like them just to be going in kind of overlapping a little bit as much as I can and then having them go in different directions as far as the centers go. On this design I'm not using my favorite Deerfoot stippler. I'm just using a brush to tap in the center. I'm going to move this a smidge here. Like I said, I like to provide simple painting design so that anybody who's new to painting can feel comfortable painting these. And I hope I'm achieving that. And see how I'm just kind of overlapping. And the amount of pressure you put down on your brush will determine the design of your petals. If you do a light touch, they won't be as thick. I actually rather enjoy painting with the round brush. Right. I'm just 
just trying to think here. Uh, I might do one more down here. And I'm not really paying attention to either how many petals I'm putting. I'm just creating the flower and whatever amount of petals I end up with is the amount of petals I end up with. If that makes sense. All right. So then what I'm going to do is pick up the next brush. Let's do this one. I'm going to pick up this one and I'm going to dip it into the bumblebee yellow and I again as I mentioned this is just going to be a simple center I'm just taking my brush and tapping in the center very easy so you don't have to have a special brush I mean it's not a fancy center by any means obviously but it's a it's a center right I'm just going to tap it in And I am going to go into the yellow, or the white, excuse me, and then come back over it. Because once again, I do want it to have good coverage. Oops, I forgot to do the bottom flower. That's not good, right? And here I go. I'll tap in the yellow. And come into the white. And then now I could do another color, another shade of yellow if I wanted. But I'm just going to come back in with the same shade of yellow this whoops sorry and then tap over it again just to now you could also add some dots around this which I'm not going to do on this one but you could that would just give it some more interest if you added dots to it but again for the purpose of this video I'm just tapping it in I said it's not a, not anything special, but it's simple. Very simple. Okay. All right. Pretty easy, right? All right. The next thing I'm going to do is take my little brush. I'm going to dip it into the the thicket. Tap it into the forget what this is called, forest moss, and I use it a lot, and I'm just doing little stems to kind of hook them together, and then I can come out like that, or I don't even have to do a stem. When you're doing bottles, you could just make it like it's, you just have flowers, and then you just have the leaves around the flowers. I just have let's go back over them again don't really even need to do this because I'm going to do my leaves but just in case any of it's left open without an extra color all right so then I put my bigger brush into the thicket putting it into that and then what I'm going to do is just basically do very similar style leaves, pulling it in, and 
Now I want to make sure though that they're covered well because I, you know, again, like, like to have good coverage. If you have good coverage, then that means that your design is going to be more durable and be protected somewhat from scratching because you don't want it to be damaged. Not as important on a bottle like this as it is if you're doing drinking glasses. Because um, those are going to be handled and washed more frequently. When you're done painting and you've, you've baked your glassware, I always put a coat of the Mod Podge Dishwasher Safe formula on. You don't have to put anything on. Definitely not a requirement when you're painting glass. But if you, you know, if you want, that's what I do. I know some people talk about spraying it with a varnish. I'm not big into spraying stuff, so you know, if you choose to do that, that's up to you. I'm just not a, I don't like the, the fumes and such that you get from spraying, so I'm definitely not recommending that. Again, anybody can create this. It's just a very, very, very simple design intended to be that way. So if you want to come up and add, add more to this, you can. Um, have it come out. And just keep working it. Or just put maybe one or two out from a from the side of the flower. Very simple. And you can even draw like a, a like a stem to put these on if you want. If you feel like you're not getting the coverage you want, you can always add some white to it because white has a lot of pigment to it. So that helps. That one picked up a little bit of the color underneath, which is fine. Like I said, you can see how, how simple it is. We're almost done. I appreciate you sticking around. If you're new to my channel, though, make sure that you subscribe before you leave. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those down below. I would appreciate it. And before you leave, if you would share this design video on your social network, I'd appreciate it. Just hit that share button that you'll see underneath the video before you leave and until the next time please stay safe and healthy and have a good one. Bye.